Hello, friends. I'm pleased to announce that after difficult decisions, intensively studying infection rates in the Oklahoma City metro area, and examining the best practices of other churches in our area, the Oklahoma City First United Methodist Church leadership team has decided to reopen our church for in-person worship on Sunday, June 21st. After more than three months of exclusively worshiping online, we know that many of you are ready to get back to seeing your church family face to face. Please know we will continue to offer our worship services online for those who do not yet feel comfortable attending in person. In fact, we anticipate the majority of our church will continue to worship online until some of our restrictions are lessened and the threat of contracting this virus is lower. If you do not feel comfortable or safe, or if you have underlying health concerns, we strongly encourage you to continue to practice safe social distancing, to stay at home on Sunday morning, and worship online with us. Now, let me say a few words about what will be different if you choose to come to in-person worship on June 21st. First, you are strongly encouraged to wear a mask as long as you are in our church facility. If you do not bring a mask, we will have one waiting for you. Please remember, wearing a mask is not necessarily for your safety, but it is about the safety of your neighbors and friends here at church. Please help us keep the most vulnerable in our church safe by wearing a mask while at First Church. Second, many of our pews will be blocked off in order to encourage proper social distancing. You will be asked to sit with your family unit with plenty of distance between you and your neighbors. Third, you are strongly encouraged to refrain from singing or to sing silently during our hymns and worship songs. We understand that this will be quite constrictive to worship, but during this first phase of reopening, this is the guideline that we will be following. Finally, you will be encouraged to abstain from too much socializing, from handshaking, or from having close interactions with others while at church during this first phase. Now, we recognize these guidelines are quite restrictive, but in order to help prevent the spread of this virus to our most vulnerable congregants, we feel these guidelines are in order at this point. Please know, these guidelines will be relaxed in the coming weeks and months as we move through the various phases of reopening. On our church's website and, and included in the description or link in this video, you can find all of our reopening guidelines, including appendices on when recovering COVID patients may return to in-person worship and events at First Church, at the various phases that we'll be going through in our reopening at First Church, and guidelines for volunteering and being on staff here at our church. I want to thank the relaunch team members, Michael Davis and Hardy Patton, for their hard work on all of these guidelines. We recognize there are a wide variety of perspectives at First Church regarding the COVID virus, and we have attempted to create an environment in which everyone can feel safe. Finally, I want to remind you who we are as a church. First Church has been a reassuring force in our downtown neighborhood for the last 131 years. We have been through booms and busts in our neighborhood, other global epidemics, social unrest, and even violence and terror. But through it all, we have been a beacon of hope in the downtown Oklahoma City neighborhood as we have been committed to spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in the metro area and to the ends of the earth. Our century-long fight for justice and peace, hope and love, grace and the gospel of Jesus is unparalleled in our neighborhood. Know that when we join together in our mission, God will see us through the next 100 years of life-changing ministry. Our world around us has changed since we last met together over three months ago, but our message of the love of God remains the same. God bless you and your family as we confront our world with hope and love and the gospel of Jesus Christ.